all women by the way aged 50 uh, even if they're otherwise healthy like me I'm already at risk because I'm way beyond 50 so I should have my screening tests for mammogram and other cancers regularly may I ask a question yes, please. um for someone like me who so you know because I I lost my mom to breast cancer and when she found out it was already stage three my question is since she's my mom mm. is it in my genes yes how how big is the percentage of me having it right. in me? Yes, I understand your question. And this is always the concern of anyone um, and ought to be. Um, and the answer to your question is yes, you are at higher risk of uh, developing cancer compared, for example, to me. Mm -hmm. Because I do not have a first degree relative. When we say first degree, is your parent or your sibling mm -hmm. or your child. So if any of these... Uh, relatives of mine had cancer and specifically breast cancer then I would be at higher risk compared to others who do not have such family history so in your case yes you do have a slightly higher risk but many breast cancers are what we call spontaneous not necessarily minana mm -hmm. not necessarily in the genes uh, they say that 80% of all cancers are spontaneous, but 20, maybe 25% uh, are from your heritage or from your genes. But these are the things that uh, women are going to have, um, all women, uh, because it's so common, uh, breast cancer, that all women are going to have to live with, you know, uh, some with greater fear than others. And I don't want to emphasize uh, uh, the cards you're dealt. I'm, I'm sure you didn't want. No, your mom didn't want to have it. You didn't want to have that in your mom nor in yourself. You don't want to have that history. And I, I understand you also have a strong family history. But these are the things that um, should inspire us like mm -hmm. to be more proactive yeah. and to learn more about the disease yeah. and support programs that uh, help all of us, all humanity, not just all women, but all humanity, to be able to understand uh, cancer more and to diagnosing it earlier and to making it more accessible. Uh, that's why I, I admire you both for being here, for helping us in our advocacy uh, to to make everyone aware that uh, we, we can screen for and prevent yes. cancers and that it's our responsibility. You know? uh, like you took on the responsibility, right? Uh, it, as we all should. Because it's our own health. It, yeah. It's your life, you say. My experience was actually... I'm this. I'm a senior. As a senior, na may nagpatawag ng barangay. I'm from barangay San Perpetuo, by the way, of San Juan City. And and sabi nila, there will be a free mammogram. So kinuha mga pangalan namin. Then dinala kami sa municipio. I was surprised. I said, bakit sa municipio? Eh, mammogram. Then nakita ko yung band na Hope Movie. Oh, this is the one. So, lot kami din ginawan. And, um, actually, syempre, masakit nung una, pero, okay lang. Kasi, it's for us. So, lahat kami, nakuha namin the result after three weeks. See? Unluckily. I don't say unluckily because I'm lucky to get it, the, na, nagamot ako. Na ako ang nagkaroon. And I'm very, uh, talaga, grateful sa program niya to call out. Ah, uh, nasave ko. At at the beginning, sabi ko, paano to? Kung anong sasabihin sa akin? Kasi the, the result was uh, suspicious, malicious, malignant. Kasi. So, by the word malignant, oh my God, malignant na ako. I'm so afraid. Sabi ko, may mga apo pa akong maliliit. Kahit do matanda na ako, I still want to live long. Sabi ko, fight ko to. My sister-in-law was telling me, no, don't do the, ano, yung 
Pagpapaano nga? Pagpapaano? Well, yeah, because sabi niya, you just take the herbal medicine. Oh my God. Baka yan magising. Yung yeah. mga cells niya magising. Sabi ko, kasi ako ang taong, if I have something, sa akin, tanggalin ko lang. At let the Lord decide. If I will remain, I will be here. Pero ginawa ko yung para sa, alam ko nakakaayos sa akin. And from this program, wala akong maging problema. From the people who handle me financially, tinuluan ako sa lahat-lahat ng support ka. Till now, napapatunay ako talagang, how good is the Lord? I'm so really, really happy about it. And I'm sorry that I don't have a mommy. Mo. It's okay. Uh, it happens, but you have to protect yourself also. So if you're going to say something to do it to yourself. Because you're the one. I told my friends that they're afraid. They don't want to come. They said, oh, what are we going to do? Maybe we're going to pay for it. We're not going to pay for it. We're free to pay for our screening. We're just going to be strong. When when we were, if I may explain a little yes, bit more, please. you know, um, uh, when I, I get as I mentioned, no, I've 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 been in practice and I'm also an epidemiologist, meaning I study disease patterns in populations, mm -hmm. and in this case, in population of women, everyone knows naman na meron naman test na pwedeng malaman kung meron kang cancer or wala. Why is it that these women do not undergo uh, this test when it it can only it doesn't harm you? Uh, it might harm you in in ways that are difficult to appreciate sometimes. For example, mawawalan ka ng time sa trabaho mo kung magpapascreen ka, pipila ka sa ospital, mahal ang bayan, um, pagka meron kang result uh, at malaman mo na may CA ka, hindi mo naman kaya bayaran yung, yung, cure, yung, yung treatment, right? And then, um, all these things um, bother the women, uh, and and we know because we interview them, you know, and we we ask sometimes because women they say, because po three years ago may bukol ako, uh, sa pinapabayopsi pero natakot ako or an uh, wala ako ng oras so hindi ko na lang po pinabayopsi pero ngayon po um, malaki na lumaki na tapos um, and then pagka is a stage namin advanced stage mm -hmm. na so we ask them. Because we really want to try and understand well, hi, why didn't you have it removed when you were advised? Mm -hmm. And those are the most common reasons. Because eh, if I ko nga napakamahan, eh, wala naman akong pambayad mm -hmm. sa gamot. Anong mangyayari sa mga anak ko? Tsaka umaasa na lang ako sa Diyos. Mm -hmm. um, bahala na siya sa amin. And as you mentioned, that is very good to have faith. But I think there is also the expectation yes. By the pe by not people, but mm -hmm. by uh, the powers that be, that we do have our role to play, and that's being responsible, as I said, for your own health. So what we did was, and from our uh, collaborators, this is AIA, mm -hmm. and they they gave us money mm -hmm. so that they could um, pay for the mammograms of, of women from Elgin Youth, uh, and uh, the Medical City, on the other hand. Um, mm -hmm. Bought the bus, started the program. We call it the Scrap Cancer Program. Scrap stands for Screen and Prevent Cancer. Mm. Uh, but we made sure na yung aming general sponsor was willing to pay, uh, not just for the mammogram itself, um, but also for uh, the di the biopsy, which they just yes, did for yeah. you. Uh, and if kailangan pa sana hindi na, pero mm. kung kailangan pa ng treatment. They will also pay for the treatment. Ngayon, bakit bakit sila matapang? Kasi you know that mm. breast cancer treatment can be really very expensive. Mm. But our logic was, mm. if it is got through a screening program, na hindi pa nakakapa, di maliit yon, mm. di ba? Um, early stage yon, stage one or two yon. Bigs sabihin, karami ng stage one or two, hindi na kailangan ng chemo. Yeah. Or kailangan pero hindi na siya kamahalan. So that is. Um, why we started uh, our scrap cancer program is just it's not just taking ma mammograms, mm -hmm. but it's making sure you take care of the patient yeah. throughout the entire journey, from beginning, through diagnosis, through staging, 
through biopsy, through treatment, through monitoring, uh, all the way to wellness, back to health. Live without regrets, and sabing na. So if you do it for yourself, it means you're in the right track. Kung nagkamali ka, hindi pagkakamalin, because the Lord allows it to happen. So, sa akin, this is the best way. Macheck tayo talaga. Totally. Hindi magagawa ka lang na, ah, parang kwak-kwak doctor ka na lang. Okay, not rely your life on that. Pamilya natin nakasalalay rin dito. Yung kaira. You've got it early and you actually cured yourself. You actually uh, saved your own life. Right? Kasi pag tinanggal mo na yan, early breast cancer is curable and in a way that's so much less expensive. You mentioned that you spent a lot, mm-hmm. right? Kasi three or four. Mm-hmm. Uh, pero pag one or two, uh, hindi mahal. At saka ang dami ng programa ngayon because the government knows that it is a big public health problem. Thank you for um, being part of 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 the journey. Thank you. Uh, you're, you're actually very special, more special than you already are because you are our first patient in our scap oh. cancer program where we were able to prove true that we will be able to catch these buckles early yes. and have them and accompany mm-hmm. um our our patients throughout their journey and so don't worry we're not gonna let you go uh we're we're, we're here and uh, we will we'll stay with you and i hope that um you can also be our spokesperson for all the other women in san juan who have not yet undergone uh, mammogram <laughs> How rampant do you think, Doc, is misinformation here in the Philippines? And how do you think does it affect our fight against breast cancer? Misinformation like, patunawin mo na lang, minum ka na lang ng gamot, na mat- indasal mo na lang, you know. Okay. Pabaya mo na lang. Oh, pabaya mo na lang. People need to understand. But, and so sometimes you create stories. Yeah. Uh, so, and yet, sadly, they're not true stories. Mm-hmm.